ladies and gentlemen let me adjust my ISO here on the camera okay so let me throw some lights on here so we can see what we are doing focus all right so there you go so i'm sure you've seen my previous let me turn the volume down a little bit i'm sure you've seen my previous videos so it really hasn't changed much the one thing which changed and it's uh i really love uh, this uh, gauge right here basically what i did i took uh, via um, um, fs panel studio a, a must have program if you want to make your own panels uh, FS Panel Studio, I basically took a GPS gauge and a, an ND gauge because as you know FS9 does not have that capability of doing it by itself, uh, FSX and above does. So I took two gauges, an ND and a, a GPS and I basically married them together. It wasn't easy, it was a lot of work, it took me a week of thinking, but finally I got it where I wanted. So basically what it does is, except uh, showing uh, uh, of course it doesn't show the, the weather or the traffic, for that I have something else, but uh, uh, it, will, it will give me a, a flight plan, it will show you a pink line, uh, right now I do not have active of course, it will show you your airports, your, uh, your vectors, uh, your green cones as we call them, and then of course um, the regular uh, rose arch, let me show you, so there you go, that's uh, rose mode and then of course I have to put the camera down to switch it and there you go and that is your uh, arch mode so it would do all three things it actually has four settings uh, and that's something that I really missed in uh, FS9 of course we have your prim primary fl flight display and so on and so forth uh, we turn the lights on here okay MCP. There you go, beautiful. Turn some lights on. So that's the cockpit itself. So here we have the upper acres, all custom made gauges, all made by myself. Uh, this is the lower. I, I added a few more things, you know, the surfaces and the um, all the. Um, this shows you your elevation, it you shows your elevator, I should say your ailerons and so on and so forth so there you go so see how they are moving there you go and of course up and down and then here I added uh, uh, the closest airport my call sign as if I didn't know of course it's just for fun this is all for fun folks you know a lot of people get too hang up on oh this doesn't look real this that or this I really don't care this I built this for fun it is real enough to me and I love it. I mean, uh, so what if I added a few extra things? Um, now, the the one component or three components actually I want to mention is which uh, really really add to the experience is uh, the, the radios here. I did not have that six months ago, so this is a must, of course, to tune to your ground, to your weather, to your uh, uh, tower, of course, your transponder. Uh, for your scrub code and everything and of course uh, uh, a standby uh, radio over here um, now most of these do not work these are all dummies um, I guess the next thing I need to do is an FMC right now I have three FMC's but they're all dummies uh, they just lit up from underneath and uh, but you know um, so of course yeah that's uh, my next uh, goal is to get a working FMC and they hook it up to the simulator here but I, I use a, a software FMC which I show you let me see here as you can see right there so it does the same thing uh, just software instead of then uh, hardware of course but that's what I use okay and uh, what else can I show you here so this is the cabin inside as you can see as I said before it really adds to the feeling of being inside a, uh, a uh, cabin that's my overhead right there, looks beautiful, um, not everything works, just the things that I need to, of course, my 
arranging starters and my lights and so on and so forth. Uh, you know, all of that works. So the rest is just redundant for a flight simulator. But I just every once in a while I get the urge of adding something else, and I just do so. Okay. Um, the landing gear lever is real from a real 747. The posts are real. The seats are real. The J rails are real. Of course, uh, others minor components, the flashlights, the you know, these are those are real as well. Uh, it's getting easier and easier, thank God, to find the 747 components. It's been a pain in the ass until now, but now with a lot of 747s uh, being uh, at the end of the life cycle, it's getting easier and easier. Of course, my uh, length, uh, as you can see, columns, I built those myself. Uh, those were quite a job, it took me a month, basically, a spur of time, of course, because of course I do work. But these were probably the best thing I could have done for my uh, cockpit, okay? Uh, pedals, I use uh, Satec pedals, um, but the link yokes are extremely uh, useful, of course. And what else can I show you? I just, uh, I bought, uh, for me, Bay here, I bought a panel. This is, believe it or not, a panel for uh, a flight attendant and the lights and ventilation that you normally find in the passenger cabin overhead. But, you know, I picked it up for $50 and it happens to fit behind my chair here, the captain chair, perfect. And uh, it works, of course, as you can see. And why not? I mean, it's, it's from a 767, same colors. Um, and it just looks, it looks nice. That's about it. You know, again, I make my own rules. It's my own cockpit. And uh, that's the way I love it. And what else can I show you here? I am going to show you uh, a more uh, zoomed out shot now in a second, if you allow me. And there you go, folks. So that's a shot from farther away. Let me get the zoom proper, the focus, I should say. There you go, it doesn't look gorgeous. I love it. I mean, I'm so proud of my cockpit. It's going to look funny. A lot of work plays off. There you go. It looks beautiful. I mean, I have real pilots coming here. I can mention the names, of course, but I have a couple of friends, real pilots, and they just love to come and play with my simulator. Um, let's see. I mean, look at this thing. It's just gorgeous. folks leave comments ask questions there you go absolutely gorgeous for my so. I just love the circle the 747 my favorite group of all time and I just love it the color I don't know what it is it's just so relaxing by the way my doctor always is asking me how come the blood pressure is so low well I said this is why. And then one time he came over for supper and he couldn't believe it. He was mesmerized. I mean, he enjoyed it so much. He was asking, what's this button? And what's this? And how do you do this? Oh, how did you do that? Oh my God, he has so many questions. And then he said, now I realize why your blood pressure is so low. He says, the white noise of the engines, it really relaxes you. Absolutely, he's 100% right. And yes, folks, this is true. Um, when you get involved in a hobby like this, it just relaxes you, it just, slows everything down and you just think more clear and more uh, your thinking becomes sharper because of course there's a lot of a lot of uh, mind work you have to do a lot of research and it just become I don't know if I can say a different person but for sure it makes you see things in a different fashion you appreciate the details you appreciate patience you, you stop rushing because basically you know your order is rich and it takes three weeks to get it and you know what, it doesn't matter how much you panic, it's still going to take three weeks to get it. And so you, uh, you appreciate taking things easier, um, you know, without rushing anything. And you appreciate the details and you just enjoy all the little things in life instead of them running, running, running all the time. And, uh, you know, and the study you need to do, and the research, and 
talk to other fellow swimmers and it just goes on and on and on. It just makes you, if I may say so, a better person. And I'm pr proud of it. Thank you very much. So I'll see you soon. And ask questions. Love you guys. Thank you very much.